can you tell us what a potlatch is from your perspective, for, and then we can continue? I, ju- oh. I just think it's important for other people who may not know. Sure. Uh, okay, so so the word that is most often used instead of potlatch, certainly in among the people that I interviewed from um, Coast Salish communities, is not potlatch, but gatherings. So folks were referring to... Um, you know, going to gatherings and there was any sort of range of what those constituted. Um, but the the idea of potlatches is connected to work. So the idea of um, that communities and families have spiritual work to do and it's connected to, to um, passing on resources, passing on um, property rights, passing on family names. Um, and basically, in order to do that, because we had oral historical cultures, no written languages, that for thousands of years, uh, our oral structures have been conducted within these gathering ceremonies. Um so that if you have, say, for an example, you want to pass on a fishing site from one family member to the next, you must have that conducted in the presence of other people so that it's it's recorded in their hearts and their minds. And in order to also conduct that work that, you know, there's all these pieces of the ceremony that give it legitimization, um, one of those would be, you know, you've got to have witnesses. You've got to have gifting in order to mnemonically capture the transaction. So if if I gift to you um, a paddle to symbolize that I pass down a piece of property from my uncle to my nephew, you know, then you've you've got a symbol representing that moment in time. And it also ensures that if that transaction is contested in the future, you've got a set of people to look to in order to help you resolve that conflict right. um, in the future. You bring your witnesses together um, and that's where it becomes an intergenerational connected system um, of transactions basically over time. So, and then and then you've got a feasting component. Now, I've taken a lot of interest in in the idea of feasting. Why would you embed your transactions within a feast? You know, why would you have those two pieces come together? Or why would that be important to have those two pieces come together? And you kind of see it today. Feasting's a, a big part of Indigenous, and I don't know if they all know exactly why. It just, just it, right now, it just is. It's not the nature of the transaction that is only important. It's the quality of the relationship that is alongside the transaction that is important, which is why the feasting and the ceremonial component is important because what you're recognizing is that there's uh, there's a good relationship here that families and communities are wanting to show the world that we have these good relationships. Um, and the way that you it's the way that you demonstrate that is to invite lots of other communities as well to say not only are we good partners in this relationship, but they are too. Both of us are honorable, respectful. We we care for one another enough to feed each other. Um, and we also want to show each other kind of our our best work, if that makes sense. 